This video was inspired by The Witcher season 3, the very last episode when Yennefer was telling Tissaia to remember her strength. This Phoenix story for yourself and letting vulgar thoughts make you question who you are. This isn't you. I know you. At your core. Everything I've done, everything that's been done to me, I've survived because of your faith. You are the strongest force I've ever known. <laughs> Remember your strength. You are to say it DeVries. You are a mother and we need you. And in that moment, it got me thinking that things can happen in life as we get older, as we keep growing, that can shatter the way we see ourselves or that can make us lose faith in ourselves. So many things happen that you just become afraid. I made a reel recently, follow me on Instagram if you don't, but I made a reel recently and I was just talking about how, you know, as you get older, you start to learn fear. And there is something so amazing about the childlike freedom that children are not afraid to do whatever they want to do they're just purely themselves i won't say too much because a lot of this is on the reel so go check it out on my instagram but i'll just say this talking to my mom just made me remember all the things i was doing while i was younger singing acting dancing music and i wasn't scared of anything and the older i got the more i started becoming afraid or thinking what people say about me how people react what am i gonna do would people like it but then when you see kids just being themselves even in your early teens you don't don't care you're just you find your inner child again and just let that person out because that person that you're suffocating that person that you're burying deep inside that is who you are truly at your core i'm still on my journey and i've come a long way i'm just going to share some of the things i've learned along the way i honestly don't know how to explain it but if you haven't watched the witcher it's an amazing series and that last episode like imagine you put your entire trust in someone like you love someone you care about them and you trust them and and they betray you in the most terrible way possible it shatters you like it literally breaks you into pieces and that's what happened to Tisea at the end of the last episode and I just want to relate that to like real life personally for me I've been a people pleaser for like literally my whole life and loving and trusting someone it's not necessarily just in romantic relationships or platonic relationships or friendship it can be in form of family or people that you consider family and have this experience where I saw these people as my family call it like a childlike belief I saw all these elders and all these adults as my family I love them so much with all my heart like these people are my family I have this very childlike belief a church basically I saw them as you know these people are family so when they started treating me the way they were treating me it really really hurt me so so bad because I'm like how can they do this to me we are family it took me a while to learn that yeah you know in church people can be like oh yeah we're family you know we're together in christ and we're supposed to be together in christ but ain't no place more political than the church when in work like you know we're a team here we're family here <laughs> all that is just talk we ain't no team we're not a family you're not my ride or die people just say that but i actually believed it when i joined the church and literally no relationship and no friendship has hurt me the way the church hurt me it really really broke me and honestly god was the only reason that i was able to get through that tough time because they hurt me deeply and the thing is it was adults in charge i was much younger than i am now and it wasn't that long ago anyway but then as i'm maturing and i'm growing i'm like these people are adults i wouldn't do that to a child what i feel like i did wrong the most was being a people pleaser Guess what they call a people it doesn't matter what the situation is or wherever the room is i just have and i don't think about it i just had this very natural switch that i just automatically switched to what i feel the room i'm in needs me to be and it was so frustrating because i'll do all these things i would try like i've literally wrote a song about me I myself down remove any trace i promise i'll be whatever whoever you want for you I buried myself all tied to the core still I'm not enough I can do this I just have to endure it 
And this will surely and sure Oh But I'm stupid Nothing I do will matter What's the point of our chatters? Not enough I don't even know what entered me just now. Do you know how insane it can be when you're doing everything you can to please someone but nothing is just enough? And the thing is people hate people pleasers because when you're a people pleaser, you're not truly yourself. Hence, you're fake. And when you're a people pleaser, it's easy for you to start harboring envy. It's easy for you to compare yourself a lot because in your head, you're like, well, I'm doing all these things. Why are they favoring that person over me? It got to a point where I kind of like lost myself i like literally had moments i was like who am i who am i i lay awake looking at the ceiling thinking of my dreaming who am i deceiving couldn't have been more wrong I am sorry. I know you all did not click this video to hear me sing, but it's bringing out memories. It got to a point that I kind of like just lost sense of myself. They didn't know how much they hurt me, and I tried speaking to the leaders in church, but I then realized that they didn't actually care, <laughs> and it was up to me to heal and move on. While that happened in the church, I had this other personal like relationship, friendship thing that was happening. It was like all these things just happening. And I found myself one day in my room, pacing, literally pacing. Who am I? Who the f am I? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I've conformed for so long, for years, being whatever the situation needs me to be or whatever the room needs me to be. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know who I am. The ways that you can block out the noise is by removing yourself from those situations and those people that brought you there in the first place. I had to remove myself from everything. I was in all this department in church saying that I'm serving the Lord. But um, I, I started out that way, but then I just ended up serving man and trying to please man. So I had to remove myself from that. And it took some time and some intentional searching, but I am well on my way, like much, much better from where I started. And I don't know if y'all know um, the 5 minute journal Honestly, when I saw it online I'm like, ugh, whatever But then one day I decided to give it a chance What are some of the things I'm grateful for? Let me start focusing on myself I bought Atomic Habits, I bought The Secret And oh my god Naomi Rain, if you guys don't know her, um, Maverick City, I think that's how you pronounce it, they just want to Grammy. Naomi Rain is part of that group, but she released her own album, I think last year. There's one song on there called Still Alone, and I remember I was in the shower listening to that song. I made the choice I made, so I wouldn't be alone. I'm still alone, I'm still alone. It didn't work, I'm still alone. And I was just like, crying because I knew what I had to do. And sometimes growth is painful. Tate McRae was right. Growing up can be chaotic. Growing and changing and becoming an adult is like so hard sometimes and really, really painful. And in that moment, I knew what I had to do. I knew it was time for me to let go of that chapter, like that part of my life, to close it up. But I was really reluctant because I personally hate change. I hate change with all my heart. But things sometimes have to end. That song, Still Alone by Naomi Rain, every word was literally my story and I'm like how did she know Naomi how because it was literally me so many choices made so I wouldn't be alone but I'm still alone and that's the story of a people pleaser I had to think and I, I had to admit to myself like why am I doing all these things why do I feel such need to people please it's because I was afraid of being alone but then I'm in all these groups and I have all these people but it's still lonely because I'm not who I am with them anyways. I am in a mask. If you haven't listened to that song, it's really amazing. Still Alone by Naomi Rain. Every people pleaser needs to listen to it. If you're trying to block out the noise of people and be who you are, listen to the song. If you're trying to not let people define you, listen to the song. If you're trying to reinvent yourself, listen to that song. Honestly, you need it. And the best thing actually for you to do for yourself is to be who you are. People gravitate towards that person. I just had to block out everybody, like the whole 
freaking world and just focus on myself focus on growing myself focus on healing myself focus on becoming the best version of myself high vibration only and when i tell you that my life has significantly improved and significantly changed i'm not where i want to be yet i'm not who i want to be yet but in the video i made why not having friends not as bad as you think i talked about a butterfly and how i am almost getting my wings the best way to block out the noise and truly be yourself is to remove yourself from those people and situations and to start working on yourself like truly working on yourself when i started intentionally using the five minute journal it started working for me like the book is only as good as you make it you know it's intentional living you know trying to center myself and when i tell you that so many people are talking to me strangers and so many people reaching out like honestly this is just the beginning because if i keep growing and keep becoming the best version of myself and get to where i want to be even before i get there even people my people are going to gravitate towards me and honestly it's time to stop blaming the world blaming your situation blaming the circumstances yes those people did what they did but i don't blame them anymore like i had to remove myself from this victim mentality when i came across this youtuber mira or moira i think that's how i pronounce her name she made a video that i really loved and i'm just like wow the world can be a lonely place i get that but honestly take it from me there's nothing more lonely than being in a group where you're not appreciated you're not valued you know when you get home at night you just have yourself by yourself find your inner child and just be free be free be joyous be happy and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye had a lot of problems but i couldn't keep them i've been on a so big to wipe out lethal switch it up take it slow take it slow bring it